You jump in. Huh? You jump in, he said. Because uh, if you are, can I have your money first? Whatever you value, you like. Thanks very much, by I really appreciate that. I could do with that call, too. Do you hang around here all the time? Sure. Sick bastard. Not in this court, it won't be. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Shoes. No. 14999 at here. I saw them in Foot Locker. They're very nice. Listen, if you don't fuck off, I'm gonna fuck you off this bridge before I jump myself. All right, all right. Keep the shoes. It's just that, like, I hate to see them wasted for vanity. Vanity? You're vain, boy. You're worried about what people will think if they find you without your shoes. Sure, at 110 feet, chances are you won't have a head left. I don't need to listen to this. And that's assuming they'll find you, which 50% of the time, at least, they never do. And if they do find you by the time they've Identified you. Please, please stop. I'm sorry if I upset you. Please. Appreciate the money and the court. Don't worry about me now. I'll. I'll just leave you get on with. Whatever. New York Athletic Club, eh? Huh? Did you ever use the pool there? Listen, you've got my coat, you've got my money, now go. Go somewhere else, leave me in peace. Uh, leave you in pieces, you mean? <laughs> you really think that's an appropriate thing to be saying to someone in my situation? Yeah. Put a smile in your face, calm your nerves, like, you know, like Reader's Digest, laughter, the best medicine. What if I don't want medicine? What if I just want to not be alive uh, anymore? Listen, are you thinking of jumping or diving? What the fuck is it to you? I'm just trying to help you, like. All right? I met this fella once right here. He told me his biggest worry was that he'd survive the drop. You know, like those Mexican fellas that dive off that cliff, but that he'd end up drowning in all that shitty water below. And that is one dirty river down there, boy. And his theory was that you should jump, not dive. That way, you're pretty certain of killing yourself when you hit the water. OK, that's what I'll do. But uh, it's easier said than done, like. Because his theory also was, what with the head being the heaviest part of the body and the action of centrifugal force, you could start off jumping and end up diving. A man with your wisdom, how come you're not running the country or curing cancer instead of here wrecking my head? I made a big mistake once, all right? And I never got over it. What kind of big mistake? You want to know about it? Actually, I do. I want to know what your one big mistake was, smart ass. I killed a fellow once. You killed someone? That's right. Why? I just thought the world would be a better place without him. 
You worried now? I'm going to kill you. No. I've just never met anybody that's killed someone before. Well, I'm very pleased to meet you. No, I have to do this now. Well, go on, so Go on, do it. I'm not stopping you, boy. That's very interesting. I heard that before. That thing about concentrating, you know, before you take the plunge. No offense, boy, just a figure of speech. Anyway, this fella told me that he had to concentrate really hard, you know, before he jumped to make sure he remembered all the important stuff. What important stuff? You know how they say that just before you drown, all the important moments in your life flash past in your head? Yeah. Well. It's the same for jumping. Between the moment you jump and the moment you land, all the big stuff just flashes through. Like memories and stuff? Yeah, memories. And this fella's theory was like that. If you concentrate really, really hard, you could rehearse like. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to jump off a bridge in the first place? I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh, it's none of my business now, is it? It's none of my business now, is it? Well, you got to do what you got to do, man. But you know what? If I was you, I would rehearse first. Forewarned is forearmed. Or as the golfer used to say, you know, the more I practice, the luckier I get. What the fuck? Ah! Fuck. Ah! Ah! Give me me fucking shame. Uh, rehearsal time, boy. Concentrate. Concentrate now, good man. <sighs> OK, so I go. I'll do your rehearsal. But when I'm done, you get the fuck out of here and leave me alone, all right? Sure, no problem. You're a horse, I leave. On my honor. Okay. What do I do? You close your eyes first. I'll count to three, then take it away. On three? Yeah. You ready? One. Two. Three. Is that it? What? You still got a long way to fall, boy. You think I shouldn't do it? Oh, no, no, no. Do. Kill yourself. Absolutely. But, uh, maybe wait till you got a little more life to throw away. Wait, me wallet. Need money for a taxi. What was it like to kill someone? It felt like the most natural thing in the world at the time. How would you do it? Well, um. I didn't think about it too much. I just took a deep breath. And I jumped.